My name is Stephen McKinney. Um, born and raised in Chicago, Illinois. Um, uh, 30 years old. I'm currently residing in Davenport, Iowa. Um, I've been living here since 2013. Um, I've been back and forth, really, but officially lived here in 2013. Um, became a sports star. Um, football was my passion. Um, Two of my ACL, MCL, ripped both of my meniscus um, in like one play. And like, I guess once that was taken from me, you know, a lot of things went, went shaky. So, you know, I resorted back to what I, what I know and what I know got me to where I was at, you know. And what I learned got me to where I'm at now. Um, I work at Tyson Food Company um, in Joslin, Illinois. Uh, I've been working there for like eight months now. Um, I work at material handling. I move boxes, um, metal pallets, um, roughly between 24 to 100 pound boxes. You know, so like a constant, line of boxes just of meat is coming, 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 coming. Um Tyson has been great to me. Um I didn't I wasn't sure about them hiring me because you know I'm saying my background. But they hired me, you know? So once they hired me, I took it as an opportunity to, you know, to do something different, you know, to to that to have that type of title on me. Like, boy, you work at Tyson? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Come up there, you know, so I can get you in. I'm, I'm the man now, it's so crazy because I am the man up there where I work at. So uh, it's like, I got the juice to, you know what I'm saying? Come up there, you know what I'm saying? Come work. When you have value, it means something. Like you, you, like you, 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 the value of that camera can mean a lot to a person. So you're going to treat that camera like it means something. You know what I mean? If you out here and you don't, you don't have nothing meaningful, you just, you know, basically in a way, you just, you just lost. I wouldn't say you in a way, but you, you lost. You know what I'm saying? You don't have nothing to stand on. You don't have nothing to live for. So when I know what I value, I know my worth. My mom, she, she, she real protective over me. You know what I mean? Um, and it's like, it's a lot of things that I never, you know what I'm saying, expressed to my mom just because, you know what I'm saying, how she is with me. I ain't been, <laughs> it was time when I'll be at parties, you know what I'm saying, they shooting and, and fighting. They'll call her and she at the party, like, bro, some lady out here for you. I'm a lady, you know, I'm, a, I'm like, what lady? Man, the window busted. I'll never forget it. The window's a big hole in the window. My mom like this. Boy, if you don't come, I'm never, I'm mad now. Who called my mama? Who called my mama, man? So it's like, I've uh, experienced a lot of, you know, traumatizing things from death, from almost getting killed, from, you know, being homeless when you have family, you know, sleeping in cars, you know what I'm saying? being at your friend house, treating him more like a brother than your own brother, you know what I'm saying? Well, him treat me more a family than my own family, you know what I'm saying? I've been betrayed, you know what I'm saying, so many times to the point where trust was no longer a part of me. I didn't trust nothing, you know what I'm saying? I didn't even trust my own mom, you know? And it's like, I, I've done, I've done grimy things just because the situations I was in. Not because I'm that person, but I had to adapt to where, you know what I'm saying, where my life was at at that time to survive. So it's like when life gives you a crook, you gotta be a crook, you know? When life gives you butter, you gotta spread it and eat it, you know? So it's like you gotta adjust to what life gives you. You can't, uh, what I learned is you can't, you can't fight it. My counselor, Lacey, she, um, referred me to um, the Safer um, Foundation. Um, at first I thought it was, it was totally opposite of what it is now. Cause I thought it was like, um, some something that had to do with like, you just, they just talk about nothing but housing. Like getting you a crib and getting you up out of the halfway house. So that's what I, that's what, that was my impression of it until I started. Um, in the beginning, um, they told me that it would be a way out. So, 
you know, when it's a way out, you want that way out. So that's how that's how I took it in the beginning. But as I um, start working the program and and start understanding what the program really is, you know, I turned turned off what my intentions was and turned on what I can gain from the program, you know, and um, what I can utilize for my life. And in the program itself, in the it starts with the people in the program, for one, you know. It starts with those who present you with the information, you know, because anybody can tell you get in a book and just draw and write, you know. But the individuals that's here, they're, they're more hands-on with you, you know. Um, you ask questions, you ask as many questions as you want, they're going to give you as many answers, you, you know what I'm saying, as questions you can ask, you know. So um, the safer program is just, it opened doors um, on the aspect of uh, just opportunity. Um, gives you, it gives you uh, that that I can do it. You know, um, it gives you that for me. You know, what I'm saying I can't, I can't speak on well what others, but for me, it just gave me like a like a rebirth. The program has been helping me so far on my education. Um, with the GED program, um, with my driver's license, trying to get my driver's license back, I really think I really want those because I want to be uh, do the CDL thing for once. You know what I'm, I'm not saying it's gonna be a long term thing, but I want to, you know, what I'm saying learn some truck stuff, you know. But um, yeah, my license, um, is, they help me out with my housing. Um, even they, they even help me on personal levels. You know what I'm saying? I come to them and talk to them about some personal life. Things, you know what I'm saying? They give me guidance on that too. So like that's 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 like that's the top of the top for me. You know, man. Like I said, like how much they care and how much they willing to go with you and help you and understand. So like I said, it starts with the uh, individuals or the people who who doing the program that make safe of what it is. Um, the group of people that's here now. Um, I just wish y'all the best. You know, um, continue to change lives, man. Like you know. Just, I would like to, I would like to, you know what I'm saying, for y'all like to be more in the community, go out there and really, you know, you know what I'm saying, not just in a building, you know, make safer part of the world, you know what I mean? Like, get out there, you know what I'm saying, talk to these people, you know what I'm saying, really see what's going on, you know, and, and you know what I'm saying, learn, you know what I'm saying, learn and see how y'all can add on from their experience and what they telling y'all into y'all program. You know what I'm saying? Instead of people who coming from just prison, you know what I'm saying? And, cause they gonna give you prison life. It's the real life out there. You know what I mean? That's that's the real life, you know? It's like, open up safer, you know? To, to just people out there, you know? Not just for the 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 people who who was bound, bound with chain, you know? But other than that, um, I thank you guys for choosing me. To, um, how this interview went, and um, I hope you know it was a great experience for me. I hope it was a great experience for y'all, and I hope I answered every question I, you know, I could the um, best way I could.